like this jacket you have on. Thank That's you. That's a good jacket. It really is. Thank you very much. It's a magic jacket. Actually. It's a Magic Johnson jacket, or it actually has magic powers? It brings things into third dimensional space that weren't there before. It does? Yes, like, like flowers, for instance. Are you going to do a magic trick? <sighs> Wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Does it by any chance have $500,000 in there? <laughs> well, it, it would need that on the print, so maybe next time. Well, that's very, you know what? This rarely happens to me, and I appreciate it. How are you doing? How's everything in your oh, life? Oh, man, I'm great. I'm, I'm really excited. The film's out, and uh, it's, it's doing the, well. The so film's far. really good, yeah. It's, it's a, it, well, describe the movie, because it, it seems like it's one thing, and then it is a totally different thing. I guess the best way to describe it would be that it's it's absurd, it's a comedy, and it also deals in sci-fi and and and, and... yeah, it's sci-fi, right? Okay, I didn't know. I never know what I'm allowed to say, and I live in fear of ruining somebody's movie by saying what's in it. But yeah. it is, it does take a sci-fi turn for sure. The best way to understand this movie is just to go see it because it is, it's it's wild. They say that is the best way to do it. It really is. Good. <laughs> I read somewhere that, I think in the New York Times, that there was supposed to be, you were supposed to have a nude scene in this film. The director, Boots Riley, he wanted you to do a nude scene? Well, I think he had, it, he had it originally in the story. I wanted to do the nude scene. You wanted to do the nude yeah, scene? Yeah, I mean, that was one of the reasons why I took the role. Just... <laughs> <laughs> but, but ultimately, for reasons I don't know, it ended up not making it to Is it because there was something particularly special about the nude scene, or you just want to do a nude scene? I just want to do a nude scene. You just want to do a nude scene? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, I bet there are nude scenes. I mean, listen, you know, I'm sure there are plenty of people who would like to have you do a nude it's scene. It's fun to be nude. It is fun to be nude. You know what? Little kids get to run around nude all the time and it's nobody not seems fair. to mind. It's yeah. Kids. Yeah. You, how old were you when you started acting? Uh, I guess I came out the womb wanting to perform. Also, I was naked then. I uh, wanted <laughs> to just perform, but um, I think in high school I sort of, sort of really realized it's something that I could you know, actually... Do. In, like, theater, in school theater, mm -hmm. you started doing? Did you do school plays and that sort of thing? Yeah, yeah. So one of my first roles, I was a frog. I was, uh, I was, <laughs> I was kind of in a fat suit. At the time, I was maybe, like, 90 pounds or something, and they put me in a fat suit, and I got to play a fat, cute frog. <laughs> what was the play you played the frog in? It's called Honk. It was a musical. Oh, okay. And did you, the frog sing? Yes. The frog sang. And I heard you worked at a marijuana farm or something like that. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> It, uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was basically an impromptu uh, a, a center for medical experience. I see. This yeah. was before it was legal for recreational use. Yeah. Were you growing it for medical marijuana use? Yes, that's right. So we would give it to the... We would actually supply it to the, the, the medical marijuana places that, that would then sell it. But we grew it. And, Where did you grow it? It was basically in a guy's house who knocked out all the walls. It was just like, all right, this is the place we're going to do this, man. I'm like, all right, cool. Did the neighbors know what was going on in that house? There were no neighbors. <laughs> really? No, it was a very secluded kind of area. It was its own thing. Had a, yeah, yeah. I see. So it was like out in the middle of the desert or something like mm -hmm. that. And then, and how long did you work there? Uh, about three, two and a half, three years. And your job was to care for, care for these and cultivate plants. the plants? Yes, yes. <laughs> And I realized that plants are just actually beings, and they're, they're, they're beautiful. And... Oh, so you're smoking them, too? Yes. 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 <laughs> well, that's when you have thoughts like that. <laughs> yeah, it, it brings you closer to... to, to Terry Crews was here, and Terry plays, as you know, your uncle in the movie. Mm -hmm. And um, he said that he loved the script for the movie so much that he would pay them to be in it. Did you have a similar feeling about? It ain't that deep, Terry. It didn't, no. No, no. No, I mean, uh, uh, Terry can do that. He did the commercials. He got the Old Spice thing. He I see. He's got the Old Spice money, so yeah, he didn't... He didn't afford to, maybe. Uh, <laughs> when you played... Oh, now I'm thinking about your working in that, at that marijuana place, and then you played Snoop Dogg. It's like, yeah. really like you were preparing for that role. Yeah. <laughs> Not even knowing. <laughs> when you played Snoop, and straight out of Compton. Did you meet with him? Did you study him? How did that work? No, I met him at the premiere. And oh, really? Yeah, so I had to get past a wall of security and then a secondary wall of security, which was just marijuana smoke. Right, yeah. Just, like, 
<laughs> get around that. And Where I is he? Yeah. <laughs> and I met him. He was super, super sweet and tall and awesome. And you and he liked. He was happy with your performance, with your portrayal. Yeah, yeah, he, he was. Like, yeah. Oh, great job, nephew. <laughs> I've never been anyone's nephew before. You know man. what? He called me nephew too once, and I have to say I was quite touched by it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, it's a long story, but it's a good one. Shouts out Uncle Snoop. <laughs> Shout out to Uncle Snoop. And yeah. are you having fun with this now? You're, you're basically doing what you wanted to do. I assume this is your dream, and it's happening for you. Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah, I'm finding ways to, to, to balance it all out. You, you know? are. It's, it's a lot of work, and it's a new, strange, weird world. It is strange to sit here and be looking at people and be... And, and it's a thing. little weird to have a conversation but, in but, front of an audience, yeah, right. Yeah, just finding ways to balance it, have fun with it, and, and be grateful that I'm in a position that I've always wanted to be in. Yeah, well, the movie's really good, and you did a great job in it. Lakeith Thank Stanfield, you. everybody, the movie's called Sorry to Have You. It is in theaters now. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. An evil wizard has trapped me inside this YouTube video. Click subscribe to help me escape.